Chop Chop with recipe. For veggies, we chose some pak choy or bok choy. Personally, love them for the light aroma and for the juicy texture that absorb all of the flavor. Love, love, love. Get some carrots in two thin stripes. Lots of garlic. Oh, yes. When I said lot of garlic, I really meant it. And some green onions, all finely chopped. Add some ginger for an extra layer of aroma. Get some Napa cabbage and cut it in two slices as well. Some chilies if you want to make things spicier. And some green peppers for an extra color and some crunchiness into your chow mein. Salt, water and a good mix with our hands to let the meat absorb the water. White pepper, some dark soy sauce and keep going with the mix. Add in some egg white and finally some sesame oil to avoid the meat from sticking to the wok once we start cooking. Light soy sauce, dark soy sauce, white pepper, rice vinegar, some water and starch. If you want, add in some oyster sauce for an extra umami sensation. And cook your noodles. We chose some firm noodles like these. Oh nice, oh nice. With egg or without egg is really up to you. Whenever the water starts to boil, add in some cold water to cool things down, keeping the noodles solid and tight. Scoop the noodles out of the water and cool them down into some cold water. Then set aside, remove all the excess moisture with a tablecloth. Add some sesame oil on your noodles, give them a good mix and this is going to help the noodles avoid sticking with each other. Oil into a preheated wok, meat in and let it sit for a while before flipping it. You don't need to cook it until well done, you just need the sort of medium rare kind of cooking here. Because we're going to be placing back to the wok for the final stir. Preheated wok, oil in and go aromatics. Garlic and onions. Let's start with the carrots. Once the carrots are sort of soft, go ahead with the green peppers and serve for a few minutes. Time for the pak choy. And do not do this. Time to add our babies in, the noodles in the wok, beef in, and keep going with stirring them around. Time to add our umami sauce. To complete the stir with a bit of patience. Add some garlic at the very end for a richer sensation, if you like garlic. And of course some extra sesame oil because it's always good to add sesame oil. Remember that this is the soul of Chinese street food and it has to look as such. Throw in whatever you have left over in your fridge or even the fridge itself 